let us begin <coughs> our practice with metta again as we keep practicing metta it eventually becomes almost like an abstract concept without even a substance the metta dissolves in our mind and assimilates into our system and becomes the entirety of our mind and body not just a part of it but we all f- are filled with this feeling of metta at the beginning it has a fuel now it kindles lights up shines itself in our mind and body no fuel is necessary it can continue bringing the feeling to the surface of our conscious mind at that level metta is no longer a word no thought but the feeling let it run through our body and mind through a just like blood circulates all around in into every tiny little capillary similarly let the friendly feelings run all over our mind and body and it dis- it diffuses itself in our breathing in our feeling in our pulsation every pulse is charged with the thoughts of feeling of loving friendliness every breath is filled with loving friendly feeling that is soothing comforting feeling there should be scrupulous strain of resentment disappointment in our mind every pore every drop of blood every cell every moment of our conscious mind be charged with these thoughts or feelings of loving friendliness let it run smoothly all within ourselves <coughs> all around us let us feel as if it's filled this atmosphere let's feel that atmosphere itself is friendly Air is friendly. The warmer we feel, filled with friendliness,
everywhere, all around us. Friendly feeling pervades We merge with the friendly feeling, <coughs> let, let the friendly feeling merge with us. This is uh, meditation or joy. This is the freedom of resentment. There is a kind of meditation, attainment, where our mind liberates from resentment is called <coughs> Sukhanti Adimutto. The mind liberates when this feeling of happiness through friendliness arises. Buddha said it liberates mind. from rigidity, uptightness, that becomes very powerful, tangible feeling. And that is why it is called mind liberator. Cheto vimutti. Liberator of the mind. It has to be started well in order for it to deepen and take roots in our mind and blossoms in wholesome fruit and flowers. That is called Susanaradha, begin well. Loving, friendly thought becomes a feeling when we start well, when we start the practice correctly. <coughs> we cultivate these loving, friendly thoughts within ourselves, for ourselves, not just because we want to be very selfish. We cultivate these thoughts in us with the wholesome intention of sharing with others. If we cultivate it for ourselves, then that can be selfish. But if we cultivate it within ourselves first with the intention of feeling it, grounding in it, so that with confidence we can share with others. When we try to share loving, friendly feelings with others, we can do without any reservation, any second thought. We can let it flow freely like water or air 
flowing out, overflowing, flowing. Once it starts flowing out, nothing can stop it. Buddha called it a weapon. <coughs> It is not a weapon to kill, but a weapon to make beings, keep beings alive. It's a binding factor. We bind one another with the strong bondage of loving friendliness. It's a factor that unite all beings, not separate. It's a factor that does strengthen our confidence, our friendship. <coughs> it is a factor that brings harmony and peace to us and to the world. Friends, we don't live alone. We live with other beings. What happens to one being, any part of the world affects us. We are that closely related. <coughs> so loving friendliness is the one that keeps us together alive. that avoids us from resentful thoughts. Loving friendliness makes our wounds healed. It heals the wounds of others. It penetrates all barriers. As I mentioned, let us break down all the barriers between us, among us, and let it crush all the barriers and bring harmony and peace to us all beings. Let us wish this moment that all the fightings in the world come to an end. We sincerely wish that happen. Let us wish that all who are in prisons suffering deprivation, suffering from deprivation of emotional binding. <coughs> May peace come to them. May they find a way to liberate themselves. May all those who are justly or unjustly punished, may they be free from that punishment. 
There are those who want to punish others, be compassionate, friendly, and cease to punish others. May those who are battered, abused, find solace and comfort May those criminals who hurt others, beat others, abuse others, discriminate others, have compassionate thoughts, friendly feelings, and just mind to treat all fairly and squarely. May the rulers be just, friendly, and treat subjects fairly and justly. May all those who suffer from all kind of deprivation find peace, comfort, and solace. May judges <coughs> be just and real justice. and see just fair trials for all those who are going through trials. May those who all who are in hospitals, hospice, nursing homes, suffering from all kind of ailments, sickness, find peace. May they be relieved from pain and suffering. May those who are undergoing surgical operations this moment meet with success. May all those who treat them, doctors, nurses, hospital aid supporters, be kind and friendly with them. May all those who execute the law treat people justly friendly and with compassion. May all beings everywhere find peace, solace and comfort. May peace prevail all over the world. May happiness, contentment, friendly feelings and compassion become the law of the world. May everything begins with these thoughts. May parents, teachers, 
friends, relatives, indifferent persons, even hostile persons, find solace, comfort and peace. May their minds feel, be filled with joy and happiness, friendliness and compassion. May workers in various, under various dire conditions find peace. May all beings be happy. May all beings be well. May all beings be friendly and compassionate. 